Jibro Father James with Deacon Hear Me Roar Lion. <laughs> I talk too much, so we are going <laughs> to hear about Deacon Hank Lyon's story, his history, Whoa. his family history, because it's, it's quite interesting. True. Tell me about, or tell the people about yourself, Deacon Hank. Well, it all started when, no. <laughs> uh, so, real quick, we can go back to um, the great old country uh, on my dad's side of the family. <laughs> Uh, my dad's side of the family is from Russia, Ukraine uh, area. I'm not sure which exact town or shtetl, as we could say, because uh, my dad's side of the family is uh, Jewish. So How they, about that? Did you yeah. know that, folks? So there's some Judaism in coming in here. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah, so they, uh, my dad's side of the family, they came over, uh, I'm going to be hazy with the details, maybe like the 20s, um, and settled in Chicago, and my great uncles had like a furniture shop and store downtown Chicago and uh, from there uh, my dad was born and raised in Hoffman Estates uh, my mom moved around but they met their senior in Hoffman Estates high school and uh, fell in love and started a family but uh, certainly uh, religion was on the table in terms of uh, my dad of course being Jewish my mom was raised uh, See, baptized Lutheran, raised Episcopalian. Um, things kind of got you know, moved around where you know church was just on Sunday, kind of thing, if that. So uh, my mom was more than willing to become uh, to convert to Judaism for my dad to marry him. She converted to Judaism. That's amazing. Yeah, for your dad. Yeah, he he was worth it. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Oh, just take me back to old family memories here. <laughs> this is your dad right. sung to your mom. <laughs> this is the old country. <laughs> Sorry, I should. This is an incredible story. Not filler on the roof, but Hank's story. Not both. Keep going, keep going. Both are okay. So, Judaism, your parents Judaism. are Jewish at this point. You're not on the right. scene, though. Yet. I'm not on the scene yet. Um, the first one on the scene is my brother. And then two years later, my sister was born. Um, still Jewish at this time, and all the while, my mom is just enthralled with the Jewish religion, and especially with her Christian background, she just loves to study and to learn about uh, the, the faith in general. So taking a lot of interest into just Jewish customs, traditions, so we have um, Friday uh, Shabbat dinner, there's you know Friday uh, Saturday Sabbath traditions, uh, Passover, Hanukkah, etc. Um, and during all this, uh, my mom is, you know, really growing in her faith uh, with God and wants to learn more and starts, you know, even learning about the Hasidic tradition. So in Judaism, there's all different branches from a Hasidic tradition, which is a little bit more of the European uh, peasant uh, style, Orthodox, conservative, um, etc. And then I think my brother is about seven at the time when my mom um, is pregnant with me. And at this point, um, she hadn't really considered a little bit, considered a little bit about Christianity. Um, and, but the other thing that was interesting was during my mom's pregnancy with me, uh, towards the end of the pregnancy, uh, she had to be bedridden because she was, um, at risk of losing me, uh, difficult pregnancy. So at this point, my mom, um, in her faith prays to God, kind of like the story of Hannah, of just praying for the safety of the child to be born and says if you know um, my child can be born you know that the child is dedicated to God uh, basically so through these uh, moments and of uh, faith and trial and hope uh, my mom does have this kind of a religious experience and Christianity um, kind of comes through there is this great message of hope uh, for my mom and my dad when they were going through tough times and something that was big for them was uh, my mom came across the, uh, this old St. Joseph's Missal and uh, in that she found the, the prayer, uh, the Hail Mary, and she began to pray that throughout her, her day. And so such. she's not Catholic yet. Not Catholic yet, but she's praying the Hail Mary. Just like, wow. Yeah. You said Hannah in the Old Testament. Yeah. There you go. Uh -huh. Hannah, Hannah mean, hen means grace mm -hmm. in, the, in Hebrew and... And it's certainly a precursor to Mary. That's pretty cool. Absolutely. And as Fulton Sheen has this wonderful line, his two favorite people are Jewish, uh, Jesus and the Blessed Mother. <laughs> so, <laughs> Greg's Jewish. It's awesome. <laughs> That's <No>. right. <laughs> it's a chuppah. Yeah, it's a chuppah. <laughs> yeah. 
So um, I definitely uh, believe that Our Lady, her intercession was active during that time. And of course, Our Lady's um, great at bringing people to her son, Jesus Christ. So um, that was kind of my mom's walk of faith and coming to be a parishioner at St. Mary's in Buffalo Grove. She had uh, wow. no idea that she was that close to a Catholic church right there. And named St. Mary. And named St. Mary's, true. Yeah. So when did they convert? So little baby Henry comes little along. Me. Um, so my mom was going through RCIA after she had me, I believe. Um, and then my sister and I were baptized at the same time. I'll just say what's RCIA real quick for those. RCIA who is for those uh, adults who are coming into the church, whether they've already been baptized or if they're coming in from another religion. Okay. Um, so she's RCIA. going through RCIA when you're when she's pregnant with you. Um, I think so. Around pregnancy, um, early pregnancy maybe, or definitely after pregnancy for sure. Um, Boy, but, so you've literally been getting instruction your whole life. In the womb, getting yeah, right. church instruction, <laughs> right, high, school, school, college, high school, college, straight to seminary. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you're so, ready to let the feathers of the peacock fly <laughs> into the world. Anywho, go, go sure. back to your story. Um so yeah, I'm the first cradle Catholic in my family, so from infancy, baptized and everything. My mom wanted me to go to private school. Uh, my brother was later uh, baptized. He went through RCIC, so that's the RCIA version for, for kids. Uh, my dad converted not until I was in first grade, um, so he took some time. So it was a lot of my mom just taking us to church, and my dad staying at home, uh, but he really, uh, one, you know, felt left out, but also just really saw the joy that my mom had in her life. And a lot of the people that he was working with in his relatively new job uh, were Catholic too. And he just, there was some something different about their integrity and their, their work ethic too. So he inquired about um, Catholicism and was very moved by it. So he also went through the RCIA process, was baptized. Hank's parents are pretty awesome. I do remember <laughs> one time Thank you... you <laughs> I think it was maybe before I knew you had that Jewish background, you were, right when you got here or something, you were fixing a clock in the rectory. It was like a mantelpiece <laughs> clock. And he was like fixing it with his tweezers. I was like, wow, you're kind of like Jewish. And he was like, actually, I am. I am Jewish. 50%. <laughs> oh, okay. Anywho. Yeah, it was wild when my mom was interested in doing talk. the, uh, thank you, <laughs> the, the 23andMe or the DNA swab thing, check out your family tree. When I got mine back... It was like, okay, you're quarter English, 40% Norwegian and stuff, but you're 50% European Jew. I was like, wow. <laughs> it's just right you're there. Company, <laughs> some good company with uh, saints like Edith Stein. She yeah, was Jewish. Edith Stein. Um, Can't think of anyone else, but I'm God, sure there's I'm sure others there out are. there. <laughs> Isn't that interesting, more. folks? <laughs> Deacon Henry Dean Lyon and his yeah. parents. God bless you all. Thanks. Uh, by the grace of God, you're... Mother heard the call, and blessed mother helped her, your dad followed along, and we mm -hmm. wouldn't have Deacon Hank. Yeah, and thanks to Ellis whole... Island, I got a new last name, too. Oh, what was it before, Lionel? We, we think it was, <laughs> think it was uh, something like Lezak or something. Lezak, gotcha. Yeah. That's yeah. where the lion came from. Okay. Yeah. And it's still roaring all there those decades <laughs> later. That was pretty interesting, folks. God bless you. Peace.